Welcome to the Sonic View XP Learning Center. This is video number one, and in this video, we will show you what we call channel view and the general navigation of the Sonic View XP. This is a Sonic View 24 XP. We also have a Sonic View 16 XP. They are identical as far as the operation and the procedures go. The only difference really uh, as far as the procedures is that Sonic View 16 XP has two screens, Sonic View 24 XP has three, and of course it has one extra section of eight different or eight more channels on the face of the product. So this is called home or channel mode, what we call it Tascam. Channel mode is made to replicate a analog mixer or a vertical kind of a channel strip that you would find almost on an analog mixer. So for example, channel 17, follow it down. Gain, the gate EQ, the sends, there are four uh, on this particular uh, screen. Send pan, and the panning, and what channel are we on? Follow it down, editing knobs, mute, solo, select, and the customized LED where you can put on icons and name it and all that good stuff. And of course, the mechanical fader for channel 17. Now, there's several ways to edit and to do things as far as procedure and editing on a sonic view. For example, you can use your finger. I just touched the top, the gain knobs. Notice that there is a white box around all of those. And if I touch the, the pan here, uh, you'll notice the white box shifted here, which means that this is editing for the panning as far as the knobs go. Sonic View comes with a pen, and the pen is very handy as well. You can choose to use the pen. You can use your finger. I'll go back to the pans. Notice that the box again is around here. It's green. It's green on the knobs. Turn the knob, pan right, pan left. And if you take any knob in edit mode and push it in, it goes to coarse mode. So in fine mode, one click is one movement on the screen. Push it in, coarse, very fast. Okay, uh, so you can get close to where you want and then go to fine. It's a great way to, to do that. It's the same thing. Let's use the pen here with the gains. Red, red. I'll choose channel 16 here. Turn the knob. You can see I'm changing the gain. I'm doing all of this without going into so-called edit modes or different screens, by the way, which is one of the values of this channel mode, which kind of, again replicates kind of an analog mixer. If I push in the button, it's in course mode. So I'll point to see uh, that move as well. And there are four sends here um, for every channel. I can choose number two. You see the white box appear and I can turn the knob. And what I'm doing here is channel 18 is going to mix two or the send on mix two. And it's as easy as that. Let's go to three, different channel here, number 12. I'm using send on that particular uh, channel as well. Um, there are also uh, some very simple buttons. So for example, mute, very simple, just you can do group mutes. You can set it up so you can do uh, mutes all simultaneously or just one at a time. There's a solo in place button, uh, very simple stuff. And then if I hit select, it goes into the the module, what we call the module view of channel 17 in this case. You hit select again, and it goes to uh, back to the, uh, the channel mode or the home screen. And by the way, if you hit select, you can always hit home here. It'll take all screens simultaneous and take them to channel mode. So that's a quick overview of what we call channel mode and the way that the Sonic View uh, can work. Thank you.